If you are like me and you love cheap PC parts, then behind me, we are at a scrapyard in Taipei City, Taiwan. And we are going to go look around with a screwdriver and see if we can get some juicy deals. And there's actually quite a few places to look at. So let's get our bargain hunting on. All right, let's go through these PCs and see what we got. Dude, that one's gonna be straight away. That's got some DDR3 maybe, maybe. So okay, just check for the RAM. Here. Grab the RAM sticks out of there. Yeah, just grab that. Let's start okay. pulling this shit apart. Sticker, yeah, you got a power, that oh, power supply has seen better days. No RAM, water Damn. cooler would, oof. Nah. I mean, that's, that's chonkered. H97, damn, man. You can tell it's been rained on yeah. and rusted out. So let's see what we get in terms of getting lucky. Oh, let's just go CPU. through it. Yeah, open her up. That's, now that's DDR2. You can tell straight away by the pin layout. I mean, then you've got the P5Q model number there. Hey, all the coming. Oof. Dude, you want to see a bad one? Check that out. I think that MP can got all the good shit. Someone's already picked this man. Like someone's already. Hey? Yeah. I'll get off the white thing, yeah. So guys, as we were walking in, there was a lady and she was saying, Mayola, Mayola. And she just kept saying it. And basically Marco, who's with us, He's telling us that that means no more, no more. And so when we were going through all these builds and all these PCs here, and there was actually a lot of them, we had found out that pretty much the only things that were left were rusty parts or parts that had just been picked for CPUs and memory. And it's pretty much someone else had come through and just picked out all the really good deals. So we just picked a bad time of the month. But with that aside, let's move along and check out the next scrapyard. Yeah, yeah, that's good, thank you. Yeah, you're really quick. <laughs> <laughs> so we've now struck a absolute gold mine here in Taiwan and as always it's Marco who finds these places and they're just in obscure locations. I would never think to come here if I was say a tourist just looking around at the regular shops but already we're booking up H81 motherboards inside for 400 NTD, which is around, I think off the top of my head, around 13 US dollars a pop. And they're testing them and making sure they all work too. So I've booked up three of those. I've also booked up a B85, which I think is an another, another three and a half dollars. And so we got four of those motherboards on the LGA 11 5X socket. And the best thing on top of all that is they've also got one X99 board in there with a Xeon inside. So I'm gonna try and barter that down as much as I can and add that on top because we're buying four motherboards ready. Now, in terms of buying even more, if I was in Australia or Japan, I would probably just clean this place out because there's just so many good prices here on motherboards. Because if you guys didn't know, with fourth gen, the i7 4770s especially, you can pick them up for as little as $30, which is what I was doing in my Japanese uh, used PC parts hunts and they go with a cheap motherboard like this, you're gonna get a really good gaming experience on the cheap. And I think also some other YouTubers like Jage Two Cents recently took a look at fourth generation CPUs and he was actually really surprised by the performance it still gives out in 2023. And the main reason there is because the CPU still carries the AVX2 instruction sets. So absolute bargains, let's go back in and finalize this deal and then see what we come up with.
So finishing up at this store, it's probably one of my favorite places to get deals in Taiwan. And the good thing about this place is we're picking up all the motherboards here. And we got those GPUs in the previous Taiwan parts hunt before we started Computex. So I've just got almost whole sets here to build out real cheap gaming PCs. Now, in the end, we ended up negotiating 2,200 Taiwan dollars, which is still under 100 US dollars. And I'll put the list of uh, what we scored here up on the screen. And they were testing the parts out, showing us that they were working. And the best thing is I even had the authentic experience here of cleaning out one of the motherboards before I even bought it and tested it. So I'm not just happy with the deals, but my soul has also been reinvigorated suddenly. Let's go get some more deals. So we have now just gone to the second scrapyard. However, this one was like going from the best luck to the worst luck, where we just got all those good deals. But then we went here and they had literally told us that they'd just sent out all the PC components to go get melted down. And this would have been an absolute gold mine because this place, they said they would have done the parts really cheap. Of course, they're untested, but that's when you can pick up some of the best deals. So unfortunately, they just sent the parts out. And one hard thing about Taiwan and doing this parts hunt is the transit times can be quite strenuous in that we're taking a long time to get from one place to another because there's lots of traffic in Taipei City. But we're gonna go over now to a place that stocks used parts and see if we can find especially some graphics cards. So we've just finished up at the next store here and it was a bust, but it wasn't a bust. And let me explain why. So the store is called Micro Pro and they actually had some really good deals on whole systems. So I think they had like a GTX 960 system, an i5 6400, the whole system going for around 60 US dollars, which actually if I was in Australia, I would easily pick that up, tack on a monitor, keyboard and mouse, do a whole gaming setup, clean it up, and then double tick that for the sale price. But this time around, uh, I just can't fit this stuff in my suitcase. So that's why it's kind of like not a bust, but it is a bust. But we're gonna go to one more store now and see if we can get some GPUs because that's what I've really been looking for today. And I just, all the stores we've been to have had everything but GPUs so far. So now guys, we are closing off this scrapyard parts hunt with a successful GPU deal. And actually, before that, we went to this store where we walked in and they just did, really didn't want to sell us any used parts at all. So we walked in, they just said, sorry. And I think if you come parts hunting here and you're a foreigner, you may come into some difficulties like that where some stores you walk into and you're kind of just not welcome. But then like a lot of other stores, actually the majority of stores, we walk into and people are so nice. So hit or miss, but then we ended up in Electric City, Guangha, because it's really close to this other place that was a bust. And we ended up picking up an RTX 3060 12 gig for 5,500 NTD, which I think is a little under 200 US dollars. And it's still got two and a half years warranty on it. Now, the thing about this deal was he wanted 6,500 at first, 
and it wasn't on display. So we walked into the store, they had some GPUs on display, but then I just said to Marco, I said, Marco, can you just ask the guy if he's got any GPUs out the back that he hasn't put up for sale yet? And so we ended up scoring this 3060. And this GPU deal, it just brings the whole parts hunt here today together where I'll put the total tally up on the screen for you guys, where we went from scrap yards to hybrid scrapyard testing centers, and then just to a used parts place. And we ended up in total with some really good deals. So do let us know in the comments section below, what was your favorite deal of the parts hunt, scrapyard hunt here today? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And also, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Computex coverage as well. It wouldn't be made possible. None of this wouldn't be made possible without you guys. Love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching the content. And with that out of the way, guys, I think I've walked over 20,000 steps here today. So I am totally spent. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. And also, sorry, big thanks to Marco as well for helping out with this stuff. And also for Devin, here's a PC parts uh, modder. He builds custom PCs. Big thanks to these guys for coming along, helping us out. Really appreciate everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out for now. Bye. Chinese, bro. Optimus Prime!